Heyo, duckies, and Andy Lippy here back with another OBS tutorial, and this one is all about audio. So audio is such an important part of anyone's stream to make it sound and look professional, and using audio faders, you can actually make everything look even smoother. Take a look at this clip. Oh, no. Oops. <laughs> So as you can see, my good friend Waldo and Friends, make sure you go and check him out at twitch.tv forward slash Waldo and Friends. He is on a just chatting scene and he can basically move to his gameplay scene and it turns the game up. And if he moves back to just chatting, it turns it back down very smoothly and it makes that transition look really good. You can use this for a lot of different things. If you've got alerts that play music, you don't want your music overlapping. So you can fade your music down or fade your alerts up. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this tutorial. Let's get into it, put your rock over the stone. Today's sponsor couldn't be more perfect. It is Own Pro. Own Pro actually have their own music that's completely royalty free and it is free as well. So you can get it on Spotify, YouTube Music, Apple Music and also live stream it from Twitch and you can use that in any of your videos. Own Pro offer many other services such as premium overlays that's over 400 different overlays that you can install at one single click into OBS. All right, thanks Own Pro for sponsoring this portion of the video. Of course, the plugin we're going to be using is no other than Exceldro's Move Transition plugin. It was added in quite a new update, the option to move volume of a source. So we're going to get this downloaded. I'm going to leave all the links down below. Just go up, hit download if you've not got it. Uh, and obviously this is the way that you update it as well. I'd always recommend using the installer. So download that one, uh, press download. It's going to be in a little zip file. So once downloaded, open it up, open the exe file. Windows will protect your PC, say it's all Gucci in that. And then it should let you choose where you want to install it to. Obviously, it's usually program files in OBS-Studio. If not, you can press browse, just press next, next again, and that will get it all installed for you, okay? So we can jump into OBS now. As you can see, I've got my OBS ready just here. Let's bang on some tunes from my own music, uh, which is nice, royalty free. That's what we like to see. So we can see as I turn this up and down, this will turn it up and down on the video as well. So I'm just gonna leave it up there, okay? And to get this to work, all we need to do is click on whatever source we want to add the fade to. So I'm going to be using this one, which is Google Chrome. So we're going to press the little cog button, go down to filters, and we're going to add a filter. So under audio filters, we're going to press the plus sign, and we can actually add a move value filter. So I'm going to call this fade down. Press OK. And the filter we're going to access is none because we don't want to actually access a filter. We want to choose what we want to kind of change. And that is going to be just single setting. So you can leave that as default. And then under setting, you'll actually see source volume, which not many people know that this exists. So we've got 0% just here. Or we can get value and it will get the current percent. I'm going to put it down to 0 for first. And if we scroll down, we've got some more options. Similar to if you've used the Move Transition plugin before, we can say how long we want it to take to do a fade. So I'm gonna put it down as a thousand milliseconds, so that's a second. We can change the ease in just like we normally would, the trigger of how it starts. Make sure you kind of leave this box ticked for filter only enabled whilst moving. That'll just make sure that when you turn this on, it'll stay on until it's finished. Uh, we can also chain moves as we normally would as well. So if I zoom out now and put this to one side, as you can see, the music's still playing right now, but if I turn the little eye symbol on to turn the filter on, you'll see we'll fade down to zero during a total of a second. So I want to get it to fade back up. So I'm going to create another move value filter, and I'm going to call this fade up. Press OK. And we're going to leave it on the default none, and then single setting, and then under setting source volume. And we can have it go back to whatever we want it to be. So we'll say 100, for instance. So it goes back to full volume. I'm going to change the duration again to 1,000. Uh, I'm going to change the easing just because. Why not? And then now, that is it. We're ready to go. If I press fade up, as if by magic, we've got the music back on. So fade down. Fade up just like so. That is how to get this filter working directly in OBS. 
Right, so next up, I'm going to show you how to use actually a Stream Deck to do this. If you're not using Stream Deck, you can use any software out there like the Streamer Bot software or the Orem Board or whatever tickles your fancy, Touch Portal, there's so many things. It's just a standard sw scene switch filter transition, okay? So I'm going to go and make sure we've got the WebSocket plugin already installed into OBS. If you haven't, go to download, download the EXE and get that installed. Otherwise, this will not work. Next up, we can open our Stream Deck software and we're going to create a new multi action, okay? But first, we need to make sure we've got a plugin installed. So we're going to hit the cog, make sure we're up to date. So press check for updates and then hit OK and close that down, get all up to date. And then we're going to press this button to go to the store. Hit plugins and we're just going to type in OBS into the top right. We want to download OBS tools by Barader. Really great plugin to allow you to enable filters and everything like that using your Stream Deck. Uh, close that down once that's all installed and we're going to create a multi action. So I'm going to say uh, we're going to turn monitor on because that's going to be a scene switch that we're going to do. And we're going to double click into that and we're going to drag inside the OBS Studio folder on the right a scene on if you're not seeing that press this little button here and you can turn this on and off so it's visible next up we're going to choose what scene we want to change to so i'm going to change to my monitor scene and then we're going to add the filter switch so if we scroll down on the right you should see obs tools again if you're not seeing that just press this little button and you can turn it on there obs tools open that up and we're going to go to filter toggle and then this window should pop up to allow you to configure um, the Bar Raider plugin to OBS through WebSocket. So we just press link and it's going to ask for our server info. Sounds technical, it's not. Go to OBS, go to tools, go down to WebSocket server settings and have a look what port you're on there. It should be 4444. But because I've got multiple stuff, you don't need to worry about it. Uh, mine's 4443, but just ignore it. So we're going to go back to the Stream Deck software and we're going to go to put in whatever our port is just there. Like I say, it should be already set up by default. Press next and that is it. It's going to be all configured. We can close that down now and we're ready to go. You probably see it's not pulling your sources and filters. So just back out of the multi-action and go back into it. And then when you select the filter uh, toggle that we created, you can see all the source names. So the one that we need to do now is if you remember, the filter we added it to was the Google Chrome source. So we're going to select Google Chrome and then I'm going to choose the filter and we want it to fade up, don't we? Because we're changing to that scene, so we want to turn that volume up. And that's it. We can back out of that now. And the keen aid viewers will know that we're already turned up. So I'm just going to turn that down for this example. And then now I'm going to press the button on my stream deck and we should change scene and fade up at the same time just like so. Obviously that might be a little bit quick and janky, so we can actually slow that down in the settings if you remember. If we go to fade up, we can make it last a little bit longer, so it could take like three seconds maybe to, to turn on. So as you can see there, I've changed it to 3000 milliseconds just so. So we need to have a button to switch back as well. So I'm going to create another multi-action inside the Stream Deck, double click into it, and if you remember the first one was the scene switch, and we're going to go back to the just chatting scene like so. Scroll all the way down to get the filter toggle button. I'm going to put that into there as well. And this time the source is the same because we want to turn it back down. But the filter we're going to do fade down. And then we can back out of that, close that down. And then now when I press it on my stream deck, you'll see we should fade down here and swap scenes just like so. I can swap back. Takes a little bit longer to get in. Do you see how it can have a massive effect on your stream? That's pretty much all there is to it. Obviously, depending on which software you are using, you'll find the correct solution for you. If you want me to do individual videos on like the Orem board and streamer bot, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll get straight to it. All right, guys. I'd want to say a huge thanks to all these people just here that helped me make this content full time. Also, my new YouTube members that joined from the live stream. Absolute legends from if you want to help me from one pound a month, it is greatly appreciated. All right, put your rock of that stone. I'll see you in the next video. Check one of these. Do it.